You're now rocking out with the Maniac Experience. Shout out to S Street Media. Today, I have no guests. Thought today was Wednesday. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be burnt out. So, I gotta interview myself, type of shit. But I'm gonna take the time out just to shoot niggas today. Like, I'm gonna shoot a lot of people, a lot of podcasts. I'm gonna start off with the, um, the Joe Bunt podcast. I like it, but I don't like it. Cause Joe, Joe funny, but he's not funny. Joe mixy for me, man. He's too, he like he real mixy. He real mixy. But the shit was going on, going on with him and Charlemagne. I think them niggas have they need to have a debate, cross from each other for an whole hour. And after that, I'm saying, we, and after that, we'll see who telling the truth or not. Who we feel who telling the truth or not. Cause Charlemagne basically is saying that he's 50-50, he's half owner, whatever, whatever. And Joe Bunton saying he fully owns his shit. But at the end of the day, Joe Bunton, your shit ain't worth putting Charlemagne's shit. So you can own this, you can own what you own, but you you're not seeing no no not even half of his views. He see, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you own your little apartment building, but this nigga is half owner of a fucking hotel type shit. Like you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. Charlemagne's winning. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You own your shit, but you gotta work for your shit to get even half of where his shit is at. So at the end of the day, I'm going with Charlemagne on that one. I think Charlemagne's clearly smokes Joe Button in his podcast game. Gilly the kid and Wayno shit. I like Gilly. I even like Wayno. So I ain't gonna shoot them. I like them. I like them. I like them. And they real cousins too. They ain't fake cousins. You know what I'm saying? So I fuck with them. Oh. Who else? What other podcast they got going on? I haven't seen Crooked Eye shit yet. He got one too. Drink Champs. Oh, Drink Champs. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Nori. His man, I don't know who the fuck his man is, but Nori, shout out to Nori because at the end of the day, he know how to reveal himself. When rap slowed down, he went reggaeton. When reggaeton slowed down, so he went to he started podcasting and that shit is doing great. He's doing great behind that. So shout out to um Noriega. Oh, uh, who else? What other podcast they got going on out here now, man? Oh, damn! I seen I seen a couple of podcasts. Um, what's this dude's name? Fuck. Oh, no, it's not a podcast, but he be always like blogging. Um, the guy from the Bronx. What's his name? So, um, he's the Zulu Nation, some shit like that. The last, uh, Campbell, Hassan Campbell. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Shout out to everybody who blocked from their crib and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get their shit up. There's a lot of people from the Bronx doing it. But Hassan Campbell's a funny motherfucker. I ain't never met nobody more funny than Hassan Campbell. This nigga shoots at everybody. He shoots at Mano, he shoots at Jim Jones. Anybody who's gang banging or whatever, he just shoots. Like he one of the ex gang members turned Muslim or whatever the hell he turned, and he just downgrades everybody who shows himself with gang banging. He's gonna get himself hurt. I understand what he's trying to do, but he's doing it wrong. Like, who are you to tell anybody what like what they do? like? I don't understand this guy, man. And I, was, I don't. He get views because he say he say some crazy shit, so people just watch. And but I don't like him like that. I think he needs to chill out. Hassan Campbell just do that. His podcast or blog cast, whatever you want to call that shit, needs to be can He needs to be, he needs to stop. Them two fake chains around his neck. You see them shit? Them shit is fake as shit. I don't like him. Oh, uh, who else, man? This is a couple of more people, man. I just they, I was, I've been watching them shit too, man. Uh, oh, Vlad, the shit with Vlad. Now, uh, who am I to have some say so in this conversation? But I, I just say what I want to, anyway. I don't give a fuck. Was Vlad wrong? Yeah, he's wrong. She, should he apologize? Like my son said, if he truly mean it, then apologize. But you can't make nobody apologize if they really don't mean it. So even if they say apologize, if they apologize, if you don't believe him. 
If, if, if you don't silly mean it, it ain't gonna mean shit. But he get too many passes. He get way too many passes, man. Way too many. And like in these new days, niggas is woke. Niggas is on some real black king shit and queen shit. So like this for them play. He, I hate a nigga who wanna who just wanna stand out for no, for the wrong reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like like we all know like. Boom, we all know LeBron James is the best player, right, in the NBA. But one nigga might say, no, he not. Um, fucking Anthony Davis is. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, why would you say that? Just to have arguments? Like, we know, like, you know what I'm saying? He know he was wrong. But, you know, it keeps him, it gets, it gets his name talked about a lot. So, I guess it works out for him, too, at the end of the day. But he's he's wrong. He, he need to... Um, but I need to sit back for a little year, for a whole year, and just re- and analyze what the hell you be doing sometimes. Because for, like niggas get interviewed by you, then they go to jail. You act, you ask too many cop questions. Then you talking about one of our black leaders that we got left. You just like, and it's a proven fact that people put out have clips of what he was saying. A lot of people didn't put out the full clip. I don't see. I just seen it, and. Shout out to Mr. Farrakhan. He, he's been the same way f- forever. He hasn't changed. He hasn't changed. And he mean what he say. And Vlad, he out of place, man. So I ain't really fucking with Vlad right now. At all. Oh. What else, what else want to talk about? Oh, yo. Little Wings, um, homeboy, Mac Man bought them. So the, um, so the car he bought him? Oh, man, he bought him my own. Um, Damn, one of them fucking expensive cars for his birthday. I'm just like, damn near a million dollars probably. Shout out to Wayne for having good friends. <laughs> Yo, word up. Because shit, my man's gonna buy me a shirt. Nigga bought that nigga a whole new car. Shout out to that nigga. Oh, money bag, yo, girl. She bought him a, um, a Maybach. G Herbo, baby bombs. Mess with your money bag, yo. She bought him a Maybach for his birthday. Shout out to her, too. <laughs> Yo, word to my boy. She, she, see, she's smart. She's smart. That money she he be getting, he be giving her. She saved it. Bought him a made back. That shit gonna come back double anyway. Cause man, at the end of the day, nigga, know you ain't got no money for a made back. He know the money he gave you is what you bought that made back with. But at the end of the day, it's the thought. It's the thought that count. You know what I'm saying? And nigga appreciate that shit. So, shout out to money back, your girlfriend for buying that made back. That that right there got you extra five years in this relationship. So you know you good. You be good for another five joints. Shout out to her. Oh, who else want to talk about? Um, damn, it's some some rappers too, man. Free our free AR app. The game missing him too, man. Yo, I'm, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I miss AR app. No homo. Like tss, niggas took him out on some. And I hate when niggas be like, yo, Instagram, get a nigga caught. Man, Instagram just, it just provide proof. A little bit of proof. But niggas been getting caught by the friends before Instagram. Right? Like, nigga, like I, I hate when niggas be like, yo, the gram, the gram don't get you caught. What gets you caught is the niggas you fuck with. Like, the gram cannot put you in jail. At all. Without another person. Tell them on you or observe you do something. The Graham can't do it. The Facebook can't do it. Ain't nobody ever went to jail off Instagram or, or Facebook just by itself. It was an investigation that started from the streets. That's it. Like, so when people sit back and be like, stay off Instagram, you ain't got to stay off Instagram. Just know if you hot, you know if you hot. Just stay off it because they are watching. And um, you will be in the detention center, in your nearest neighborhood, one phone call a day, no visits to Corona. <laughs> like you be, you're going to be stressed. So chill out. Yo, what up with, oh man, what up, what else? What up with New York City, man, doing these drive-bys? Now, I ain't condoning the killing. But when when we when did we start doing drive bys? Niggas got so scared, niggas shooting out of nigga, now niggas shooting out cars. 
If I got beef, don't shoot me from a car. If you want to kill me, come up to me, my nigga. Like, don't shoot me on the drive by. Like, that's like that's. I think it's the corniest way to kill somebody. I'm just being honest. Because first of all, who got time to ride with a gun, shoot out the car you came in, and then make it back to it? That's some crazy shit. So if you're gonna be shooting guns, man. Leave that drive-by shit out Cause you be hit mad people Doing drive-bys man A whole lot of kids A whole lot of innocent people Get killed Cause of drive-bys Not a, If you went up with somebody Then <laughs> That bullet's meant for him Yeah niggas too, There's way too many Innocent people in Brooklyn man Brooklyn Queens All that man Oh <laughs> Kanye you know what, man? Kanye, Kanye's retarded, son. He is though. He just got money, so people don't think he can see the best doctors. But if Kanye West was from New York City, you know where he'd be at? Broadway Myrtle. He'd be right there on Broadway and Myrtle on some G shit. He just got the money to see the best doctors and all that, and he still got a little bit. He still got talent. It just when he off his meds. But Kanye. I don't know what Kanye want, man. He wanted too much, right? Like when Kanye first came in, he was humble, but then as he stepped up, you know what I'm saying? He started, he started, as he started seeing shit, he wanted it. He wanted everything he seen. He wanted clothing on. He wanted sneakers. He wanted shades. He wanted the baddest bitches. He wanted the platinum records. You want it way too much, my nigga. Like, then he wanted Jay to be his best friend. He wanted, like, he just wanted, he wanted to, like, nigga, you get in line, nigga. It still got bleak beans, Tata. Like, you want to skip all them, nigga? You get in line to be his best friend. But you wanted everything. And you know what? <laughs> the devil gave it to you. He gave you all that. And some. And found out. <laughs> No one man should have all this power. It was too much. Nigga cracked. Now the way to get him back, saying take all that shit back. Strip him for every, strip him for everything he wanted. Strip him back. Take it back. And humble his ass again. He be all right. Cause at the end of the day, too much money, too much fame will drive you insane, and that's a fact. Moving to the south, black youngster. Yo, <laughs> also G shit. What I never heard a song from Black Youngster. Like not once. Do this nigga rap? He raps. Cause I never heard one song from this nigga, man. Like I don't mean keep saying the N word, but I never heard a song from him. And if I did, I think I, if I think I heard one. Like who 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 plays his music? I don't know who plays this guy's music, man. I don't. Know, yo, he's just funny and he stutters a lot like me, so he's cool. ASAP Ferg, yo, is Ferg down with um ASAP Mob still? I heard he got, I heard he got the boot. <laughs> I heard too. Who booted him? ASAP Rocky. One of For what? He said he make black songs. Who him? ASAP <laughs> Rocky. What is he? He a rapper still? Like this nigga is. I don't know what that nigga do, son. He just and. He's in there, but I don't know why he's in there. You ever see a nigga around? Like, why this nigga always around? He always in the pop, pop. Who this nigga know? Like, Facts. like I don't. All right, yo, I don't know. Listen, I'm just, I'm just observing. You stay, you staying relevant too long, not to be putting out no material. And when that <laughs> happens, no, that ass. Like, when that happens. When you stay, when you relevant for a couple years straight without putting out no new material, and you but you stay relevant, we know what's going on. Y'all might y'all might not believe it, but I believe it. Somebody got his hands in his pants, and um, no, that ass, he, and he can feel away. Like this is my opinion, but no one stays relevant when you when you're not putting out no new material, son. Like. 
at all. You, how you still getting invites to these parties, nigga? <laughs> like, there's many people that's hot now, and your name's still getting put on the list. Make sure you as right, ASAP. Like, <laughs> like in Hollywood, they go about who's hot, like who's hot at the moment. Cause Hollywood's like, you know what I'm saying? There's no real friends in Hollywood. You hot, you hot. When you hot, you around everybody. When you're not, you're not allowed in these doors no more. It's the people who's been in that door and never went back in the door. Like MC Hammer, he probably been in that door. Then he, he's never stepped foot back in that door because he haven't been hot. He's not a Nas, he's not a Jay, like, you know what I'm saying? He's not a, he's not a legend. So that, that doesn't apply to legends, but it applies to guys, guys like him. You, what are you doing, son? Like, I think Ferg left because he wasn't with it. Them other guys that's down, them niggas is, is cool just being there. Like ASAP Mo. Like, I don't know none of these niggas' names. Like ASAP Jack. Like, who the fuck is this? Like, what music they make? I seen on the grand, it was like, yo, ASAP something said ASAP Ferg's no longer ASAP. Like, who are you, though? Niggas do not know who you are, though, my man. Like, so I guess, ASAP Rocky, I guess, shout out to you, I guess. But you need to make some music, son, or make a movie, or put some clothing on out. Do something, son, because a lot of bad bitches in my fucking problem with the last song I heard from you, my man. And that was about five, six years ago. There's no way the hell you still torn off that one song. So, come on, do something. Fabio. Yo, I like, yo, Fabio. Shout out to Fabio. Fabio, he's... He, He's here. He's here to stay. I think I think Fabio's here to stay. I don't think he's gonna leave. Unless the, the streets take him. But if the streets don't take him, he's here. That's a fact. Shout out to Fabio, man. He's made back to back good songs. Like Big Drip wasn't his only song. It was his biggest song probably, but it wasn't it's he still has songs. And him just is hitting, son. Shout out to Uncle Fabio. Just chill out, man. Just go to Hollywood. And talk shit from the birds, man. Like, you proved your street shit already, my nigga. Like, you ain't gotta prove no more. No one has to keep proving. Shout, shout out to Bobby Schmurder. Now, check it out, right? I think Bobby Schmurder is the smartest motherfucker. He's gonna be, he's, he's smart. And believe it or not, I think Bobby's seen something that nobody's seen yet. Bobby's gonna be good no matter if you make another hit or no, you know why? He took extra time for his boy, um, Roddy Rebel. And you know what? Roddy Rebel's gonna be a star when he come home. I spit it. Roddy's gonna be mark my word, you heard it here. Roddy Rebel is gonna be the hottest rapper when he come home. I'm telling you. And if Bobby Schmurder never makes another song, if Bobby Schmurder's hot, he's gonna be hot. And that's a fact. It's a simple fact because no one, no one in Bobby's position would have did what Bobby have done. I'm hot. You think I'm gonna take more time? Man, I wanna come home. I wanna, I wanna keep reaping my benefits of making this hot song. He stopped his whole career. So his boy Roddy Rebel could get a lesser sentence. So Roddy, if that don't motivate you to keep to make music, cause you you gotta make it for Bobby now. Every time you write a song, you gotta make it for Bobby. You gotta, cause at the end of the day, you don't even know if you did that for Bobby. Mm. No, like, that was a big decision to make. That's the biggest decision to make. Like, let's say like who you let go, your girl, your wife, your, your wife or your mother. Like on the off the top of a cliff, like who you let go? That, that decision at that time was like a decision like that. Bobby Schmidt was hot, scorching shows back to back. Every he had people in countries in the country and fucking who live on the farm singing hot, hot nigga. Like you don't get hot like that every day. No one like everybody don't get hot like that. And he made a decision to take more time. So at the end of the day. 
Latrice is gonna still praise him if he never make another song. Rowdy, if he becomes the star I think he's gonna be, then Bobby's always gonna be good. So, shout out to all of them. Oh, hold on, all right. I'm gonna switch over to, let me say one thing. Bring the camera close here. Castro, fuck you. That's my boy, but fuck Castro. You know why? This motherfucker ain't here again. Well, he came last week, but he came late. Why you always do this, my brother? Why do I have to call you every Thursday? I shouldn't have to call you. And you live here. You live closer to here than me. What's your excuse now, my brother? I don't want to hear it. I ain't going to Donald Trump you because you're my man. I ain't going to fire you. But I'm a fire on you, though. I'm your man. You don't do this to me, man. You don't leave me out here stranded. You want to... Yo, Castro, you could, I hope you don't feel away behind us. And you, you want to repost everything, so you better repost this too, Castro. The blogger, 718. That's what about day was, but he's pissing me off. The second week back, and he's not... He's not here. <laughs> so at the end of the day, Castro, when I see you, and when you see this post, you better repost it. And when I see you, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk face to face. Oh, the cops. Oh, it's a serious matter though. A serious matter. Brianna Teller, her case. What y'all expect, man? It's like, it's no more. Like, they. If it, if it happened, we happy. But if it don't. We ain't surprised. Like, no matter how publicized this murder, that murder was, you knew the outcome. You knew when he was in the when he was in the charge and arrested, right there. What you think was going to happen? They waited till the media died down, arrested them, then they go right through the back door. It's a proof. It happens like that all the time. Cops go through the back door. Boop. Boop, unless he's, like, he got, so I ain't gonna say every cop, but you know, but most of every cops who get charged with murder go through the back door. It might be one they sacrifice to make a statement out of, but they don't give a fuck about him. He just joined the force six months ago, like, whatever. But these cops who've been in the force 10, 11 years, they father was a cop, they grandfather was a cop, they mother was a cop, they grandmother was a cop, them niggas ain't going to jail. I just want to know who the fuck is their lawyer? Who rep what lawyer represents these cops? Either he's a bad motherfucker. Yo, who no one who is their lawyer? Because these he's getting every cop off these charges, my nigga. Like everyone he don't have to get the gab like that. Like, there's no way in the hell he's that. No one wins every case, man. Like, he's this is making He's just smacking cases left and right. Or oh, they firm is. Whatever the Floyd firm that is, <laughs> them niggas need to be investigated. <laughs> like, it's something going on. It's something going on, son. Who's the jury? They family members? Who's the judge? Like, how is they, how is the judge, all right, murder call and tape, everybody's seen from the beginning to the end. If a cop murdered somebody, if a cop murdered somebody. How do a lawyer talk his way into making people believe that shit was by accident. Either you that you can fuck a nigga mind up that good. If you if you could talk like that, then you know I don't know, man. Like so I was I just wanna know who they lawyer is. Or what firm represents the NYPD. I'm gonna Google that later. Because there's no way in the hell they keep winning these cases. But what's gonna happen is her family gonna win a super case. See? Her family's gonna win a civil case. But what the fuck is a. Oh, well, you know, there's some money involved, but at the end of the day, they just lost their child. So they don't really care about that money. But whatever they do, they let the cop go and give you a couple million and that hope you just be good with that. Nah, man. I think a cop will take your life. I, it should be a rule. A cop take your life, you should be able to take somebody in his family's life. <laughs> Dead ass. Let's see if they shoot them guns that fast then, right? Let's see if they use them guns then, like that. In this contract, you become a police officer, you got to, you can shoot whenever you want, but just know, 
You take a life, somebody in your family got get, y'all get killed too. Are you willing to put that put that on the line? I bet you won't be no more fucking shooting no more. Cops will be shooting nobody no more. Because at the end of the day, they shoot because they know that that's what's going to happen. Mm. My nigga, the, one of the cops who um, killed um, George um, Floyd, whatever, what's his name again? George Floyd? Yeah, George Floyd. This nigga was in the supermarket going food shopping. And some lady was like, who you think you are? Like, to come food, like, <laughs> you, you can eat after you just cooked this body? Mm. Nigga, I know niggas can eat after a fight. You telling me after this this body you just caught and this jail, t- little jail for a week or whatever you was in, you you can eat? You, you out here just going food shopping, buying organic letters and shit like that. Like, I don't understand. These niggas know. I guess it's told to them at cop training, whatever. Like, don't worry about nothing. You got to shoot a motherfucker, shoot a motherfucker, you will be home. Don't worry. Just, just make sure we write this report up right. That's why if you ever, if you ever been arrested before, you'll know there's never one cop writing a report. Never. <laughs> Hell no, there's not. It's cops helping him write the report that wasn't even there. And everyone proofreads it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is that legal? I don't think that's legal either. Everyone, how you helping this guy write something that you wasn't even there for? And I'm telling you, man. I don't know how police want you to snitch, but they don't want to snitch on each other, though. Like, that shit is crazy. Do we need police? I don't think we need them type of police. But we need people to enforce some rules. Because without rules, we reckless. I ain't going to lie. But if, but me, but. If you're gonna give us them type of police right here, then you might as well not give us no police because niggas here making it to the precinct. Niggas getting a body, making it going right to the coroner. Mom's identifying him. Talk about you thought he had a gun. You can't you can't keep using the same shit we thought it was a gun. Like, oh, busting in the wrong house. And you thought the the place that's the controller was a gun. Like, come on, my niggas. Like, it doesn't make any sense. How you gonna legalize? How you gonna tell somebody they can legally own a gun, but then arrested for the gun that he legally? You think what I'm saying? Cause he shot it off. Her boyfriend did that, right? He legally owned the gun, right? So he went to all the procedures to own this gun. He has the right to shoot this gun. If someone breaks into his home, he shoots it and get charged with that gun. Like, now where's this good lawyer at that helped? Me? That help the cops beat they shit. Represent this guy right here. Cause I know you could beat that one easy. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. It's just It's not set up for niggas to win. Some niggas win, but it's not it's not set up. And soon everybody understand that. And get an understanding of what the hell is going on. Niggas could move on and do shit. But it's always that one motherfucker in the crowd like. I'm black, but look at me. I'm successful. All right. You look like one out of every fucking 50, one out of every, fucking every thousand. Everyone ain't like you. And, that, and there's some people that went to school longer than you, had better grades than you. You just slipped through the cracks. Niggas slipped through the cracks. When you bomb a crib with roaches, nigga, some roaches don't die. That don't mean you mean, it don't, it ain't mean the bomb didn't work. It worked. But some just didn't die. Nigga, because you made it, that mean the system works because you made it. The system, system, system don't work. It doesn't, it, do, it don't work because we didn't make it or because it works because you made it. We know right from wrong. We know what's going on. We know we supposed to belong, we belong in these buildings across the street. Niggas been living here for 40 years in this area. Niggas build condos. Why are these people who've been here 40 years don't get a, get a chance to move in them condos? You think they ain't want to live nice for, for the last 20 years they got? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of living? How you going to come to their neighborhood, build these beautiful buildings, and tell a motherfucker you can't live there? You got to join a raffle. A what? A raffle? 
to come here? And I've been here 40 years, helping my, helping my community and selling ices out my house and, and doing fish fries and shit like that. And like, you know, doing block parties and cleaning up my block streets. You trying to tell me, you gonna build this shit on the corner of my block and tell me I need to win a raffle? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Smash this building down. Listen, only way we gonna do this if you make them other people scared. They move in, you move them out. All you have to do is just start destroying shit. Like they, you see what happened? Set niggas back with that looting. Set a, a lot of niggas been out of business since you twenty one out of business. They blaming on Corona, but man, it was looting too. All these niggas went out because niggas was smashing. Nigga, niggas don't put insurance on everything. You think these small businesses have insurance? Like, who, who, who thinks to put insurance on just in case it's a riot or <laughs> niggas start looting? Oh, put insurance on a fucking hurricane. Like, ain't no hurricane coming to New York. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's mad shit you can put insurance on that you'd be covered for if something happens like that. But no one does it because no one, no one will put an extra fifty hundred dollars a month or two hundred dollars a month. Why I pay that? Nigga, what the fuck the chances are a fucking a media coming through this fucking building? Put media insurance on my shit just because a media come through. Yeah, what the chances of that, man? Hell no. Next day, a fucking media. Boom! <laughs> can we get your business back? Like, just start bump. Yo, just start just breaking shit again, man. That's that's it. Niggas need to get arrested. Then that, 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 that's what's gonna have to happen. I'll take a few misdemeanors for the team. I will. The fuck? If it's gonna bring change. Now I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit my son be doing. Even though he's not getting felony charges for these shits. Because he's not getting felony charges for nothing he does. But he, oh, he is getting these misdemeanors, and them shits do add up. And them shits do keep you out of certain spots that he won't be able to get into in the future because of his past history and his misdemeanors he keep acquiring. Trespassing and all type of shit. But just, I, and I don't care who's funding him for these, he's still, he's still flying out from where he's from to Kentucky to Yo, niggas ain't doing that. And niggas always got to say something about my song, about yo, uh, you want to be, he don't want to be nothing. The brother's woke. If you ever been in jail, you get woke too, nigga. You start to realize this shit ain't what it is. I'm, I don't want to come back. You start reading and shit starts catching your eye. You be like, what? This shit's hot. And some niggas keep it in jail. Some niggas bring it home with them and keep going. And he brought it home with him. Now he ain't begging for no rap deal no more. You don't see my son begging for no rap deal. He been, he don't need one. He built his he built himself a whole new he reinvented himself. He's a whole new brand. Yo, know, like a lot of niggas can't do that. But he still tell you he'll fuck you up though if you play with him. Yo, like when I wasn't here for that one, I wanted to. Do what I wanna do. Yeah, Chi Ali, yeah. Shout out to Chi Ali. But you know what I'm saying? You, Everybody, man, like I said, man, all jokes aside, niggas need to take the My Son route. If you want change to come. If everyone thought like My Son, a little change would be seen. And that's a fact. He, it might not be publicized, but shit happen when My Son goes to these places. Shit happened with T.I. go to these places. Like you might not disagree, you might not agree with T.I. all the time, but you can agree with that this nigga, he stand by what he say. And we seen what happened in Houston, remember that, that, that restaurant with the people who they ain't with the black people wearing? Nigga, people, nigga, they close that shit down type shit. Like, when you got, you got a million followers on Instagram, at least 100,000 of them is gonna follow you out of a million. It's working for these niggas. It's working. You see, when you when you keep doing what you're doing, you see change. You're gonna see change. And my, and nigga, nigga keep asking my son, why do he keep doing this? We don't see it because we ain't living that type of life with him. But he see changes. It might not be the biggest changes, but shit, this is happening. Oh, cops is getting arrested because he's like, yo, listen, like, 
charges are being thrown out because he's like little man shit that's in his, in his like probably in his community too. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they might have locked the kid up from his projects for for a robbery. You don't, we don't know what my son did behind the scenes to get this kid out. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you think he ain't doing things like that? Like that because they ain't publicized or nothing like that. You, I don't give a fuck who it is. Ain't nobody gonna do shit if they don't see no change. If they don't see nothing coming up, see nothing happening. If I'm shooting, if I'm shooting this basketball for 20 years and this shit ain't going in the hoop, I'm gonna stop shooting. It's over. Like, you think what I'm saying? I'm only gonna keep doing it if I see process, progress. And we, like I said, we might not see what progress was happening, but I know he's making progress somewhere. That's why he keep going back and back, and he's and he's and he's not afraid to tell you to, like. He told Akon, nigga, like, Uncle Don, what you doing? And he says, it. now, Akon, to me, never been no bitch. But my son don't bite his tongue either. So, like I said, man, I know I'm spinning off the subject for a little bit, but I just like, when, my, when I talk about my son, I like to give him his props because I think he's a different type of nigga. A lot of niggas ain't got the balls he got. He go, nigga, he go to these racist towns, but like, you can get killed in these shits, man. He don't care. He, so, some niggas willing to die. He's willing. I think he's willing to go for it. He's willing to. He's willing to die for what for this for this change to come. And believe it or not, when it's all said and done, he's gonna be saying, "Yo, I hope he don't have to die for niggas to recognize that, though." Because that's what's gonna happen. Like I don't know why Jay Z been and grabbed this nigga up. He goes, no. Might sound probably scared of white people too much. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't want a nigga like what? You know what I'm saying? Don't suck a shit, Jay. Like I'm, I think he's a I, nah. I'm not doing that. Like, he, go to, he, ain't, he ain't with it. From the Bronx, some niggas don't be with nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So shout out to my son, man. I see you. So shout out to him. What the mother? Shout out to Mike Tyson, yo. You ever watch this podcast? He smokes a lot of weed, son. That's why he do his spinal was broke. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yo, shout out to Mike Tyson for having one of the dopest podcasts ever. Like, Mike Tyson is the realest, richest guy you will ever meet. You, no one at his height would. This nigga was in Lafayette Gardens, Marcy, but. All this money he had was worth hanging with killers. Yo, taking care of niggas. He, he's on. All right, check this out, right? Niggas ain't got time to go see nigga in jail who yeah. has a regular job. This nigga was, had to been that interviews and fights. Going to see niggas in jail, son. Mike Tyson has to be one of the realest niggas ever. So no matter what happened, what happened with him in the past or whatever, nigga, I thought Mike always gets his credit. Like niggas never disrespect Mike. It, son, he was hanging with killers. Nigga, niggas know Mike not because they seen boxing, nigga, but now he used to be in my crib. Like this nigga, no famous niggas, no hood legends, he no street niggas, no everybody. There's nobody know Mike don't know. And every hood, somebody know Mike. Personally, I know in Brooklyn, every tear in jail, somebody on you know, every tear knows Mike, seen Mike. He's like I said, Mike's just doing crazy. But at the end of the day, Mike set up to Mike Tyson. He has one of the endless podcasts, like I said, and he had Eminem. He had Eminem on his shit. So if you get Eminem in your podcast, then you know you dope. So at the end of the day, shout out to him. I'm t- Brothers, right? When you start striving for your goal, make sure the girl who's with you, though, is you see what I'm saying? She, she, if she, if she takes on this bumpy road with you to success, you keep her with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get rich and switch on her. But if she ain't there for the bumpy road and just want to hop in when the streets is good, then you know, don't take her with you. See, I'm in a mix right now. I don't know what to do. If today, matter of fact, hold on, wait. I'm gonna put my phone on live. I'm gonna put my phone. We recorded this one, so I'm gonna show her when I get back to let her know. 
I I I don't bite my tongue. So so I want to say, are you showing off? Nope, I ain't showing off. I'm letting you know right now. Check it, right? So, like, you heard, you heard, if if your girl's with you through through the beginning, and if it, if your girl's with you through the beginning and you make it, you have to take her with you, even if you don't want to, at least for a year. <laughs> like, cause she was with you from the beginning. But now, if your girl wasn't with you from the beginning, and well, she was, and she was with you, but didn't like help you out or just not supported you. And then when you got lit, she want to come. That's when you were like, nah, stand clear of the closing doors, please. You got to tell her that. Me, I'm in the mix right now. If today someone comes off me a million, two million dollar contract for for a podcast, I won't know what to do. Should I take my girl? Or leave her. Cause this is my second look, she's calling me now. Should I pick up? Watch this. Hello? Hello? So that's crazy. Look, I was just talking about you. you right? You live on air. Right? So uh -huh. check all right, check this out, right? I just told him, right? If your girl support if your girl supports you, right? Do do whatever you do. And you get rich, you got to take her with you, even if it's for a year or two. Like, you want to get rid of her, you got to take her because she earned that. If she was with you, but if she was with you and didn't support you, then you don't, you know what I'm saying? You, she, she can't go. If today, right now, if someone offered me $3 million, I won't know what to do. Should I take you? Or, look, what, should I take you? Or not? Because the first week, you was here. I was with you. No, 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 but you forgot. <laughs> Me, I gotta, we all have bad days, but I'm burnt out. I'm actually see, but I'm burnt out. But I was still willing to go. After I you are supposed to remember too. You can't, you can't forget. It's, I forget you. Now it never happen again. Since you said that. Then I'll take her. If somebody, <laughs> if somebody offered me this two million dollar contract today, I'll take her. All right, so you good. You good. Cause I was going, you lucky. You, that's crazy that you called. You must have knew I was about to talk about you. You must have knew. You must have known. I know everything. Yeah. All right, so I hope you know this, I hope you, I hope you know this ringtone. Now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call you back. All right, uh, right? So check it. See, that's crazy. She just called. Because her response. She may, she may, she may not miss the plan. But if she didn't call, I would. I'm telling you, I was, I was, I was. I'm. I need support. That's it. I need you to remember for me. Sometimes think for me. Because my mind, it be running so fast. I don't even remember shit sometimes. Like I can remember, but it might just skip my mind at a certain point, and I, I'm like, damn, I'm not supposed to remember. You're supposed to be like, baby, don't ask someone you're supposed to do something. But like, oh yeah, thanks. Don't remember when I remember, then what the fuck? You're like, you know, I need you to remember when I can't remember. That's it. And that's good for me. And support. That's it. Yo, all right. Tory Lanes. I I'm not gonna I don't I don't know what to talk about. I don't know I'm not with this. Like, don't listen. You do what you do behind closed doors. You want to shoot your bitch, then you got it. I'm not saying it's right, but like nigga said, this nigga's 5'2". She's like six feet, my nigga. Heavy. You probably putting a beat on this nigga, like boom, boom, and wouldn't let him out. Cause rumor, the rumor is, after our after party, they went up to they went up to one um Caitlyn. What's the girl name? One of the called the Ashton sisters. They went to her house after a party. You know, rich people get drunk. Run, rich people, you know, they drink expensive champagne and liquor. And, you know, there's always drugs around. So we don't know. <laughs> so, lines, lines were probably bumped or pills were probably popped. She figured, let these people come to my crib. Tory with it, cause in his head, when you if you ever been if you ever got high and drunk, sometimes you think it's about to go down. So he probably said it's about 
to go down. Hell yeah, I'm coming. Come on. <laughs> now, um, what's, what's this girl name again? Met what? Magnus yeah, well, I, I, I was say Mega Evans. What's her name? I met Max Dyer. She on. She from Houston. She from. She from the hood. She on point. She's like, she like. She brought me to her house. Why this nigga so happy to go? Like nigga, I'm right here. Like we ain't gotta go there. But she said, you know what? I ain't gonna fuck this up. Let me go. Got to the crib. Now she's a Kardashian. She been doing what the fuck she wanna do for years. Probably friend with Tori a little bit. And she like this bitch disrespecting me. And he probably saying, bitch, get on board. Like, <laughs> you bugging. And she like, what you gonna do? Like, <laughs> what we doing? They start arguing, she like, matter of fact, y'all get the fuck out. Now he's mad because he's just, he, she just fucked up a whole lot of paper because they about to run a train on her. And, <laughs> but Maggie started cutting a whole her liquor. And his short ass probably was like, what the, you stupid, that's why you ain't, that's why you ain't coming out. Don't you, like, this is Hollywood, you gotta do shit like this. And she probably punched this thing on top of his head, dazed this shit. <laughs> and he probably said, bitch, you hit me again, it's going down. And she probably thought, nigga, yeah, little ass ain't doing shit. Fuck out of here, bow, hit him again, and let her have it. And he would hop in his car and left. Like, I figured that's how it went down. Because <laughs> ain't nobody's going to shoot a girl in her foot. I believe you. I, th I think that's the real way. That had to go down like that. Megan Thee Stallion fucked up that motherfucking orgy party. That's what it was. She got too drunk and too aggressive and too jealous. Like, shorty, chill out. It's not every day we come to a crib like this and fuck one of the richest girls in the world. Why are you fucking that up? <laughs> Listen, baby, I'm fucked up. I'm trying to win. And in Hollywood, you got to do things to get where you got to go. And I was willing to have a orgy for this shit. And you, now look, you got two bad, you got two bad feet. You missed out on an orgy. You got that number one song though now. But I guess it worked out for her too. <laughs> Tory Lanez didn't really work out for. Because during the Corona, he had one of the littest pages. You know what I'm saying? His page was lit. Fat Joe done took that over. Picked up what Tory Lane started off at. I just took that shit right over and around with it. Cause he got to sit back in the cut. Cause he shot a girl in the foot. And it's good. Fat good. Fat Joe knows everybody. He's, he's everybody likes him. And he's been everywhere. He's been everywhere. He's been rapping for over thirty years. He's and he's Spanish. He hung with the blacks. Now he's rich. He fuck with the whites. And plus, you know, there's a lot of Spanish people in the world. Like he, J Lo is his friend. Right. That's one of the richest Spanish women ever. Angie Martinez, like, you know, they ain't got the black brothers. They got the J's now, they got the 50s, they got the Nas, Urs, he got everybody. So, Fat Joe can't lose. Fat Joe, one of them you can't be, like, if he lives in the hood, just leave that nigga alone. Because niggas gonna violate you. He could be, he could do it himself, but niggas gonna go off with Joe. You don't, want, you don't want to fuck with Joe. You ever been, you was younger, this is one nigga you just couldn't fight because you don't want you to hit this nigga, the whole private's gonna fuck you up? You're like, man, this nigga, I ain't fucking with this nigga. Cause <laughs> his whole family live out here. Like, they're gonna jump me. Like, you know what I mean? And he's glad you're the type of brother. That's the type of brother he is. Now, Tori Lane, he's, 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 he, this shit, it fucked him up all the way. Until this year's over. Nigga gonna forget about this. Oh, wait. Hold on. This might wait, wait, wait. Who was to say now his people's ain't pushed this album that her song to go number one? So now she be so busy make doing the song, recording the song, and touring over the song, she forgets about this Tory Lane situation. Cause she don't want to relive the past. She's having so much fun now. She might have sacrificed something for this number one. Yeah, hold on, wait. It's, I'm telling you, it's, it, it can happen like that. Tell you what, tell you what, sit at the table, say what, tell you what, Buggy Stallion. We know you, we know your contract was fucked up from your old manager, whatever, whatever. So check this out. The Tory Lane wave, yeah, whatever, whatever. How about this? We give you another one song, you say forget about this. Tory lay low for a little while, you make money, you talk, we t the whole world forget about it, everybody, we're going back on to their business. 
So, all right, cool. Fuck it. <laughs> and that's what, I think that's what happened. So, shout out to both of them. Just keep your hammers. Oh, hold on, wait. Tori. I'm just asking, why you had a hammer for anyway, though? Well, who the fuck are you shooting in Hollywood? <laughs> Niggas. <laughs> Unless Hollywood likes some type of brown shit we don't know about, then I don't know why you haven't had a hammer for going to the Kardashian's house. You gonna rob her? Oh no, well, I don't know. Yo, the, the finals, I don't know. I can't really get into the NBA like that because I can't watch the fake crowd. That crowd shit is corny. I don't understand how the fuck you can enjoy watching that. Like It's like watching a video game and watching two computers play. <laughs> yeah, the crowd makes the game. Like Without crowd, it's like the game is whack. I don't, I don't really watch it, but I hope LeBron win. I have a fucking toothache. This shit hurt. Oh my God. Cold water. <laughs> this shit was hurting before the cold water. This is hurting. Mm hmm. Yo, DJ Academic. <laughs> Finally, it's catching up to him. You thought your fat ass was going to be on top of the game forever? <laughs> Eventually, they're just going to move your fat ass out. Because you got too big for yourself. You started talking about the wrong people. And that's what happened. We're talking about John Legend Girl. Nigga just banned you from TikTok. What the fuck that shit's called? And you, I don't think he lost his job or he got suspended. Mm. Where, boy? <laughs> Back to the basement you go. <laughs> oh, my fucking dude. And, um, uh, I don't know, man. This just started hurting. Yeah, I can't fake it no more, y'all. I'm trying to, but this shit, <laughs> break it down now. I'm not gonna get a preset. I'm not gonna get a preset. Fuck it, man. I'm hungry. I'll tell you who did this shit. Can't get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh. Yo, you can't. Yeah, I'm about to end this shit. I can't fake it no more. Close it. Close Yo, man. You're never walking out with the main nigga experience who's really experiencing a hard fucking, a bad fucking two fake. Yo, right? Oh, this shit hurt. Just know, I, I still here for y'all. I'm trying to thug it out, man, but it, I couldn't do it no more. This shit started hurting. Oh. Yo, shout out to SG Media. Follow you on Big underscore Maniac underscore MMG. And we out. This shit hurt.